Well, good day, everybody. We're not going to be working on the Jeep just quite yet. we got kind of an emergency situation. Trevor was driving his Jeep home last night, lost power, died on the side of the road. Doesn't have a clue. Don't know if it has spark. Doesn't know if it's getting fuel. That's what we're going to find out. Take this. Spark tester. That little pencil one should be in there too, but I'm gonna use this one. Maybe a uh, power probe, fuel injector tester. But I think I'll take the kit, which I think is right here. I think. Seems pretty light. I don't know what's inside here. it yeah, we'll take the kit that multimeter I think it should be good I got the scanner in the truck already but that should be all I need just really need to go over there determine is it fuel related is it spark related what can we do to fix it let's do some troubleshooting all right the old Ford has been going for at least a week Man, those cam phaser lockouts are a wonderful thing. A wonderful thing. Best investment I ever did. Trevor actually only lives like five, ten minute drive away from my house, which is nice, so I'm not driving halfway across the city. I wish I had a paved back alley. Oh, look at that. There's his Jeep. He got towed into the back alley. That's what I call fire. Like burning a garbage pail in an alley, eh? Come here. This again, because Trevor informed me that I left my lens cover on. So, if I could grab the scanner. We're going to grab that in a second. I'm going to uh, grab the fuel pressure tester. Because that's the easiest thing to hook up. And that's what I think the issue is. We need to verify that first. And if fuel pressure isn't the case, then we need to move on. All right, there's a Schrader valve. Might be some, little bit of pressure left in there. All right, fuel pressure gauge is installed. Trevor's gonna turn the ignition on and we're gonna see if the fuel pump pressure's up. Oh, we got fuel pressure, so it's not that. It's a good sign because uh, I didn't feel like dropping the fucking gas tank. So, fuel pump is not the issue. Well, we're not going to get into that yet. We verified that there's fuel pressure. From my troubleshooting skills, I'm going to grab the computer and we're going to plug it in and see if we find anything that the computer made to give us a code. I don't even know what key we're gonna need for the scanner. I'll have to wait until it's plugged in. This is one? OBD one? No, OBD two. two. Where's your keys, is it in it? I got the scanner. Just gonna go into it, do an automatic ID, find out what key I need, plug that in, and see if there's any codes present. If there's no codes, lead us to pinpoint it. What, what year is this? 98. 98. Automatic ID, so I need K13 key. All right, we identified engine, uh, manual transmission without AC. Not sure if that would really matter. Let's see if there's any engine codes. Codes only. 
So we got a bunch of codes actually. P013 downstream O2 sensor short at high. P201 injection one control circuit fires improperly. P202 injection two circuit fires improperly. Uh, four fires improperly. Five fires improperly. Ignition coil primary circuit. So maybe your coil is at fault. I have another tool that we're going to verify and see if there is spark. All right, so I'm just reaching in my truck, getting what we're going to use next. So going over all those codes, there's quite a few things there. We're going to use this to verify for spark. If there's no spark, could be a very good chance that that coil's bad. So at least the fuel pump isn't bad. I was a little bit concerned about that. We're going to use this test right now. So off is distributor down here. I just need to pull off any wire really, it doesn't matter. Plug in any one. And then we're gonna check for spark. All right, Trevor's gonna crank it over. And we're gonna check for spark. Okay. No, nothing. Nothing. Trevor's friend gave him a spare coil so I'm going to get him to uh, pull that coil out and we're going to swap it quickly. It looks like two 10 mil bolts. It takes like five minutes to pull that out. Fuel pressure still holding steady. That's a good sign. Looking at the older TJs here with the different manifold. The ejectors look a little fatter. The plugs looks like they're a little bit different. My EVAP system like this is in the passenger side rear. This is actually mounted somewhere different on mine. Coolant bottles in the same spot, power steering pump, computer, lots of little differences. Actually my oil filter is in a different location. My that oil filter is coming off at a 45 where my four liter comes off at a 90 degree angle. Just gave us injectors and coil. I just swapped the ASD relay. We're gonna see what happens. I'll try to crank it over now. See if that starts. If it does, you know what the issue is. Now I guess not, eh? Crank it over? No. Crank it over again? Okay. Well, it's not that. Well, good morning, everybody. I think Fedor just showed up. We're gonna get ready to head over to Trevor's place. I think his computer's messed up. Gotta bring some tools. I don't know how a man doesn't even have a simple 10 millimeter wrench, or any kind of wrenches. So I need to load up some tools and then head her over. All right, got some stuff loaded up in the truck. Looks like it's a fairly decent day. Thor's gonna move his Jeep, I think, or something. Not sure what he's doing. Put a battery charger on Trevor's Jeep. Live stream last night. Some people were saying the uh, crank position sensor. I'm having my doubts on that. Not not ruling it out, but um, I don't think a crank position sensor would give you the injector primary control fault and the coil fault. I mean, it'll give you no a no start but also give you a code too and there's no cam position sensor code so we're gonna look at um, the wiring we're going to check the power and 5 volt source coming from the computer Trevor said he googled and his computer numbers off of 2001 Cherokee could do a google search on pick and pull see if they got one or got those in there but uh want to power some stuff up and what we got is that I can power it up if we get voltage everything seems to power up fuel gauge and that works we got fuel pressure um, I can read the computer we have all those faults so right now I cleared the codes uh, tried restarting it no codes are present so um, 
we do know there is no spark. So for shits and giggles, we're just gonna pull the coil out, check the resistance, cause it's pretty easy to uh, swap out cause we got a spare one here. Load up the old L parts cannon. Probably not going to inspect the wiring too much cause those codes aren't hard. So something happened and everything shut down and made it do that. But we will check the computer too afterwards. I mean, Fedor the Russian are supervising. Look at this shit. How long have those been on there? Less a couple of years, year. hasn't it? I think it's only a year. That's, I had those on my Jeep for a while. Those pretty damn quick. Oh, well, yeah, you did. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Union workers here. Two guys standing around, one guy working. <laughs> All right, we're going now. I have to sacrifice a wrench with the old grinder. The old double nut on the wire stuck. Hey, grind that sucker down. Trevor's getting some gray hair turning wrenches on his Jeep. <laughs> Checking the resistance on the coil. 1.3. If you want to touch the two prongs on the post in there. Point three, so we got the same. So just want to check the ground wires coming off the coil pack. That's the resistance. Are we gonna clean up those terminals? Dish scrubber, eh? <laughs> and you brought a toothbrush out. Here, here. Oh. <laughs> Wire brush might work a little better. Moving along, we just swapped out the coil even though the resistance values were still the same. Cleaned all the grounds. I don't think it's going to make a difference because yesterday when we measured, tried to measure voltage at the plug, we didn't get anything. So I don't think that's going to matter, but for shits and giggles, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to move along and test the computer. I don't think it's going to fire, but for shits and giggles, crank her over. Okay. Yep. Okay. Gonna take this little needle here. Twenty-two. Twelve volts there. Now we're gonna check pin number twenty-two. So we verified power to the computer. That part's done. It's pin thirty-one. Reading 0.9 ohms, pin 32, it's reading the same, we should have zero resistance, that's definitely a problem right there. We're going to have to trace down where the ground wires go, clean them up. So we got the orange wire, pure white, or we got the pure orange wire, we're measuring 5.7 volts, which is good. So just... Uh, Check the computer, computer checks out 5.18 volts. The ground resistance is a little high, but um, might have to check in where the computer grounds are and clean them up. I don't think that's what our issue is. Okay, crank it. Okay, wait, stop. Crank it again. Okay. There's no signal. Going to the injectors. All right, good day. Testing Trevor's Jeep. Computer checks out fine for five volt and 12 volt going in. The resistance on the ground is a little high. 
no pulse going to the injectors no nothing in the coil the codes we had were able to clear not come back so maybe that crank position sensor is the faulty issue here trevor's gonna have to maybe fish it out yeah just bump it over just one turn kind of thing yeah, it's around the crank position sensor wire, the gray and black one. We're gonna bump it over and look for a five volt signal. Okay, bump it. Nothing. Again? So now we put it back on the gray. Crank the engine over by hand. It is working. It is working. Yeah. yeah. And you can even hear it switching off. Yeah, you can hear it switching in there, so maybe the fucking computer's fucked. The injector driver's controls are shot. Yeah. It's weird how you couldn't see it with the multimeter, right? Yeah, that's why you gotta crank it over by hand. Well, that works. What are you guys thinking? Computer? Injector driver? Computer. Should check the ground to the. Um, to the injectors, double check that. Orange and green wire that goes to the injectors. Try cranking it. Yeah. We just drove down the Bucks Auto Parts to try to find a computer to swap into Trevor's Jeep. Oh yeah, walking in the fucking boneyard. Limited tools here in Russia. Part numbers on the computer match. How are you making out, Trevor? Oh yeah. Computer's in your sight. I pull the plugs off the computer first before you pull that out. Now we're back, we're going to install the donor computer from a Cherokee, but before we fire it up afterwards, gonna run it through the diagnostic scanner and see how it checks out before we decide to crank it over. His grounds down there are fucking dirtier and fuck too. But we'll see what happens when the new computer's put in. Union rules, beer break. Rolling rock. Motherfucking beer time. Beer time. Ooh. Need to smoke some weed now. With, uh, All right, cheers, cheers, everybody. He said there are people coming up and asking uh, how to infuse. We're gonna marijuana see beer shortly if this computer's gonna work. Quit talking back. Hey. Component is loading. Fuck, we didn't even look. It was 98, you said? Yeah. Let's go automatic ID. K13 key, that's oh, the right key. Check manual or on the... Does it match your selection? X. It was probably an automatic that it came out of. No, it's automatic ID too. No, I meant the computer. Grand Cherokees are almost dialed. Yeah, 99 identifies as. 1999 Grand Cherokee four wheel drive 4.0 engine federal emissions i guess um uh, guess it was a uh, automatic with ac <laughs> see if there's any codes over for shits and giggles No. You know, we should check some of the simple things first, but uh, number F21, the fuse was blowing. Fuse was blowing. That may be our issue. You can unplug the computer and then try to start it up after you put your negative battery post on. All right, old computer's back in, battery's hooked up, fuse is swapped out. 
See if it starts. We changed out that fuse. We got power to the injectors now. Turn it on. Okay, crank it. Okay. Yeah, crank it over. I want to see if we got spark. Okay. Yeah, the spark. All that work, don't trust nobody. All came down to a blowing fuse. Keep it simple, stupid. All those hours trouble.